Hi everybody and welcome to Summer Studio week two. We are going to be working with plants and nature today so you will need a bunch of flowers or a plant, a house plant will do, um, even fake flowers uh, but it is nice to pick real ones so find something you want to work with. Um, I just picked these from outside uh, but you could buy a bunch of flowers or work with your favourite plants yeah, whatever you fancy. So gather those and we will get started. Begin with a blank sheet of paper and find a plant or flower you want to draw. Either have it in your hand, by your paper or in your vase or pot plant. We're going to make a really simple drawing, not worrying about whether it's a good drawing or not. Using some quite bold lines if you can. See, I'm not even really taking much time over this. I could if I wanted to. When you've completed a drawing, you're going to pick another part of your plant or a different flower or something else to draw over the top. So not looking at actual real life positions of things. We're going to layer our drawings. See, I've just found a sort of half open flower. I'm going to make a very sketchy drawing of that there and another. And see, again, I'm really being quite quick and spontaneous about this and not worrying so much. If you're really comfortable with drawing and like taking your time, then you can create some really beautiful, careful layered drawings. Then we need some paint. So you see here, I picked some nice colours, the colours I'm feeling today, nice summery colours actually. And using a bold or a bright colour, I'm going to go over all the lines. So let's do that with a thin brush. Actually, I could be using a thinner brush here, but I'm quite enjoying the sketchy lines this um, slightly medium sized brush is making. So let's complete this stage, pause the video, take as long as you need to. Then we're going to start working colour. So using one of your colours, we're going to start working into sections of your painting. Again, not worrying about it too much. What we're trying to avoid here is two colours being right next to each other. You can go right up to the lines or you can leave a little bit of whites in between your first lines and then your colour blocks. So it's up to you. You can try different versions as well. Maybe you have three paintings on the go at once. And using other colours, we're going to start to fill in other areas. Again, just working intuitively and playfully enjoying the shapes and the colours rather than worrying too much about what the finished result looks like. And I've chosen a nice blue here because actually my wildflowers had um, lots of yellows and blues, cornflowers, yellow daisies in them. And then if you're not keen on the colour, the great thing about acrylics is that you can just paint over it, so wait for it to dry. And then you can go back into some of your areas, even working into wet acrylics is, is quite good fun sometimes. So I'm adding a little bit more green here and try perhaps to cover the whole of your surface in paints. Um, again, you could try multiple versions when you maybe, where you maybe leave more white space or add some back in afterwards with white paint. And this is my finished result. See a very quick spontaneous painting. Here's another one with darker lines and a bit more light in it. And these techniques are a simple version of how I create my paintings. So I take a lot more time with the drawing and the layering and then working in different layers of paint over a course of days to create my abstract paintings. I hope you enjoyed that short tutorial. Do hit subscribe if you like these videos and you'd like to see more. And you can check out my website at www.emilymeredith.net. See you next time and much love.